for Halloween, I'm going to be recording my Halloween story time special. My a true story. Hello gorgeous, how are you doing? Welcome to another Cutting the Caboose. And in this one I'm going to be talking about a little bit more about weight loss. I'm off to the gym. I did an update on the videos which are up and coming. Oh, my party, Vagipalooza. Let's get on with it. Starting off with weight loss. And I know, I know I go, I talk about weight loss. I mean, you know, you've been watching my channel for some time. So you know weight loss features quite a lot in my content is what the channel was for but something that's never really occurred to me is to talk about the impact of the weight loss the the changes that it's bringing and has brung to my life and you kind of forget even when it's happened as fast as my weight loss has been you still kind of forget all this is happening and then somebody will mention it and will say oh my god you know you, you look so different and and you realize that you're buying clothes off the peg in shops now and it's crazy how quickly you get used to that right now i'm wearing clothes from fabletics not even their biggest sizes i'm in a fairly normal size i got on the scale this morning my weight is down another few pounds i am constantly chipping away at the weight and okay through the summer i didn't lose an awful lot of weight because i was having surgery and recovering and not in the gym much i basically stayed the same but since i'm all healed now and i'm back in the gym this is my fourth week week four the weight loss has restarted very quickly and i'm looking in the mirror i'm enjoying being in the gym not just because I've, i enjoy exercise which is something that's that's happened but i like seeing myself i really sincerely like seeing myself and i know i touched on this a couple of weeks ago and i feel a little bit bad you know that it's um i'm not sure what the word is even like a pride thing but you know what? Yeah, and I, your comments were spot on. I think it's okay to be proud about this because I feel good and the changes are amazing. But here's the thing now. I feel, and this sounds really cheesy, I feel I want to go and help other people not be overweight or to find what works for them to get the weight off because it's amazing. And I know there's this saying, you know, that, that old, nothing tastes as good as slim feels or as skinny feels. And I'm, I'm never going to be skinny. I don't want to be skinny. But it is true. As nice as junk food and bad food tastes, that passes. That becomes remorse quite quickly afterwards. And if you eat too much of that bad food, you feel ill. Whereas being smaller and fit and able to wear what I want and frankly looking pretty good that never goes away that's that's fantastic and while yes you do kind of become accustomed to it i'm still catching myself in the mirror and going oh. so it's a really odd thing the you get used to being small you get used to going upstairs and occasionally i remember that if i climbed a couple of flights of stairs i would be drenched i would just be a mass of sweat where now i'm not i can go up loads of stairs i can I've got to push myself really hard in the gym now to actually perspire. I mean, today's session, I'm doing a glutes and leg session, and that would have killed me in the past. Ten air squats would have ruined me a couple of years ago. I'm going to be doing at least 50 of those weighted just as my warm-up today. And that's where, you know, that's the big difference. So, yeah, I really want to start recording some of the workouts and little routines. And I've got it planned. I know I've talked about it for a while and I've had to put it off until the healing is finished. I would record it today, but I've got a load of new gear arriving for um, Creator Answers. I've got a new field recorder and some new microphones I'm reviewing and they're due any minute. So I'll have to leave the gym in a hurry once I get the message to say, your order's on the way. So I'm nearly at the gym. Um, going to go and get... I say you're going to get sweaty. I don't actually get that sweaty anymore. More, as I said. I'm going to talk about a really good video that's coming up and will be out in a few days after you watch this one. Speak to you later. And we're back. Legs. Ah, it's the first time. So this plan I'm doing, it's a four week rolling plan. And this is the first time I've actually got to week four and I've done all the sessions in between. This is the very first time. And this is a plan that I had from my coach Helen Derbyshire like two, over two years ago. And this is the first time I've managed to get into the fourth week and I've done every workout. And the, and the preceding three weeks. Yay! So, weight loss. We talked about weight loss and it's good and I want to do some evangelizing. Let's talk about this week's shows. Oh, I gotta tell you. So Halloween is coming up, as you know, and I'll soon be off to America to do Halloween over there and um, some Christmassy stuff. But for Halloween, I'm going to be recording my Halloween story time special, my a true story. 
of my experience with the poltergeist. And if you're, if you're local to the area, you may have heard of it already, the Tico haunting or the Tico poltergeist. Quite a big story. A few decades ago when it all kicked off. And it's been in the press and it's been in the media. Yeah, I'm recording that later on today. So that, that should be out soon after this one. I think it's the, I think it's the out later this week. You're probably like, but you're an atheist, you don't believe in ghosts and spooks. Correct. However, you might have to watch the story for yourself. If you watch Creator Answers, I've got a whole new series that's just started off there on editing. And I've also got some tremendous new gear. I've got the new Zoom F810. I'm doing a review on that later today. And also, later today, I think we're recording some new content for the Orlando Obsession channel. And I've just let the cat out of the bag because that's kind of a super secret project. But isn't that secret? So I've just told you what it is. And You've probably, you, you may already be on the Facebook group for it. That's kicking off to data today, I think. Here's another thought. I'm toying with doing a media channel covering a little bit of gaming. I know I've been talking about this now for about two years. And I think it's going to be a, an irregular channel. But I want to talk about things like the Avengers. And I know I've talked about these on my live streams and things. The trouble is, because the audience is quite split. Some people want to see stuff about Avengers, some people don't give a crap in films. And I want to do somewhere where I can talk about film reviews and games and just media, modern media. Uh, and I want to do, you know, theories about Game of Thrones and, and all of that sort of thing. So I've got loods of stuff like that to talk about, which won't really fit on Cutting the Caboose on this channel. So how would you feel if I was to do a, another spin-off channel, semi-regular content, literally just talking about films, television, games, that sort of thing? Entertainment. Yeah, entertainment is probably the, the, the niche. Some watch me play type content, because I've got a green screen and loads of things I haven't set up yet. And I want to do some of that content for Creator Answers, where I'm going to be talking about, you know, how to do gaming channel content. So how would you feel? What's it, what, what do you think? Should I do one? Would it work? Would you, would you be interested? I think it would be good. And I want to do it. And that's part of the thing, isn't it? If you do content that you want to do, it's never a chore. Oh, my party, Vagipalooza. That's got loads of people who've said they're coming. So yeah, that's going to be really exciting. I've got more news of that to come though, which is unconfirmed as yet. But if you're interested in coming to that, let me know. So there we are. That's pretty much it for this one. A little video blog, a little update. So that's it for this one. Thank you so much for watching. As always, I'd love to know what you think about anything I've discussed, anything I've covered in this little, little video blog. Leave your comments below. Like, share, subscribe. If you want to be kept informed about more of this content, hit that subscribe button, hit that little alarm bell. And, and, and Bob's your, your uncle, his brother's cousin or something. Popping up over there is the last video I put out. And below that is the one YouTube thinks you should watch next. Sometimes it's the same one. Not my fault. YouTube does that sometimes because YouTube. I'll see you in the very next show. Thank you so much for watching. Love you very much. Bye!